Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Terry. And today I'm doing a reading for Pisces, so happy Easter everybody. Today it is the 31st of March 2024. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, Pisces, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you watch this video is when you're supposed to receive these messages. No matter if this is six months, a year, two years, three years after this reading is uploaded, that is when you're supposed to receive those messages. Messages for Pisces. Message. Your message is a message. Then you've got change and house. So this could be coming from someone that you live with. This could be someone that is wanting to move towards you, come to your house. There could be travel. There is a change in the air, though. I have been feeling this the last few days for you, Pisces, some type of change in the air. And then you've got house. So house can be up to six months. Um, there could have been something that happened in the last six months. Um, take what resonates for you and then you've got expectation on the back of the deck okay let's see what is in your energy but there is a message coming towards you that's going to change things could be changing things in your household could be a a message about career could be a message about love depends on what your situation is Pisces this is a collective messages for Pisces four of swords in reverse I do have it yeah Let me make sure they aren't all mostly facing upside down. You've got the five of wands in reverse. They're not mostly facing upside down. No, I think they are. So you have the four of swords, the five of wands. Then you have the seven of wands, the five of cups in reverse. The Four of Cups in the center of your reading. There's something you don't see, you know, that is being handed to you in the center of the reading there. You've got the Queen of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Knight of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the Six of Cups and the Two of Swords. Okay, Pisces. What's the Four of Swords? What is the Four of Swords? So you've got the Two of Cups. So you're healing. There could be... You got the Ten of Swords. So yeah, there's a like healing of a... From a connection someone that could have betrayed you someone that could have left you this person could have had choices options um, but i feel like you are healing from this there could be a lot of rest taking place sleep could be from a younger energy someone that came in with sexual energy also with the page of wands so you know i feel like this was someone that was a soulmate Someone that could have ghosted you. Someone that left you for dead. But this person made some type of choice. Uh, they chose something else. But I feel like you are healing. You're becoming stable again. You are resting. There's a lot of this rest going on. So what's the five of wands? What's the five of wands for Pisces?
So you have the Eight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. And the World. So there could be people that you're collaborating with, with the Five of Wands. All these people have opinions, so there could be people that you're in competition with, but there's some type of messages that are coming forwards between you and this energy. With the Six of Pentacles, I feel like there is this giving to this, giving to this thing that is needed, this thing that there could be a lot of people against you, competition, could be something you're reaching the world with, with the world coming out, Capricorn energy something that people are looking up to you, um, different types of people. Um, you're sort of like someone on this higher pedestal. But you're working a lot. There's a lot of messages, a lot of action being taken, a lot of people asking for help, a lot of conflict, a lot of energy around you of different people coming in with things to say, so what is the Seven of Wands? What's the Seven of Wands? So you have the sun. So this thing that you're fighting for, that you're working on, I feel this is your happiness. This is your thing with the sun coming out, Leo energy. You've got the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Two of Pentacles in reverse so you could have been juggling things you know at a time there could be a lot of people coming up asking you for something um, but there's you fighting for yourself you're fighting for your happiness this is something that is not I feel something that's emotional so this is something that I feel you're doing by yourself um, there could be family around you. There could be family coming up to you. Um, but I feel like you're doing this yourself. A lot of people asking for your help. I feel like you also have some type of boundaries. Um, you're telling them to back off. Um, because there is some type of healing and happiness going in your energy you know you're making your choice to follow something what's the five of cups in reverse so i feel with the five of cups in reverse pisces that um this unhappiness the sadness is over in your energy you're taking a leap of faith towards the new there is something trying to stop you you've got an animal there you could have a cat And then the lovers, but you're making this choice to to not be sad over, you know, something that happened in the past, loss and regret. There's something that you're now following your path. And this path, you know, is leading you to, I feel, something new in your life. With strength coming out, I feel like you are really pushing yourself forward. You could have fire in your energy sorry, in your chart. You're jumping towards this beginning. You know, you're letting go of that old, you're letting go of a situation, a person that could have Gemini in their chart. They don't have to. Um, but now you're moving forwards. You're taking the sleep. You're going all in. You're looking at this cup that you weren't looking at before. What's the Four of Cups? What is this Four of Cups in Pisces center of the reading? So you have the Hermit, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. So there's some type of good news. Could be from a younger energy. That could be that cup that's being handed to you that you don't see this news that's coming in. Someone that's holding on to something but you're not holding on anymore. You're making that choice to let go and you're, you're looking at this cup now. So you see the cup, 
this cup that's being given. Look, there you are there. With the Eight of Cups coming out, you're walking away from something that was unfulfilling. And now you're walking towards some type of good news. As I said, it could be from a younger energy. It could be from a child. <clears throat> dolphins could be significant. Dolphins are flamboyant. Um, a friendly, like to play. This person could have water in their chart. They don't have to, but this person's bringing in, you know, another cup. I feel that's going to to give you nine cups. This is something also that, you know, it could be someone that is going to lead to success and happiness with, because you've got the 401, so 11, 11, you're on the right track. You are working together with this person to bring in some type of crop. So, you know, I feel like this is something that you have been looking for with the Queen of Wands coming out. You are someone that's passionate. You are someone that's you know, dreamy, fiery, someone that's going to fight for what they want. You look very attractive while you do it. And you're going to find exactly what you want. Now, you see this cup that was being dangled in front of you before. Now this past energy is out of your energy. Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups coming out now. Someone that's giving to this Four of Cups, someone's giving to that cup, you know, that they see. They're giving their all. She's giving that beautiful cup to this. To this change. What is the Queen of Cups for Pisces? You've got the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords in reverse. So as I said, you could be working on something with somebody. Uh, there could be someone coming in. You're making a choice to work on something new, a cup that you didn't see before and now you're giving to it. Um, you've got the devil coming out also, Capricorn energy. So there is some type of codependency that I feel, you know, was in your energy with the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. You could have been in your head about holding on to that past, holding on to something that was codependent, addiction, um, whatever this is. It could be a person. It could be something in your life. But you're now taking that blindfold off and realizing that there is work that needs to be done. You do see the light now. You are grabbing the moon. You're grabbing that dream. You're grabbing that path of yours. Now, you're not in your head about this devil energy anymore. You may feel still, sorry, you may still feel chained to this energy. But you're taking the blindfold off and you're pushing forwards. You know, you're taking that leap no matter what. Okay, Pisces, let's do this future energy for you. But you're taking a leap into something new now, something that is not that past. So what is the hanged man? What is the hanged man? You know, the hanged man is someone that sees something from a different point of view, has the epiphany. You've got the Knight of Cups. The Empress. Taurus energy. So while you enjoy your new world, there could be someone new coming towards you. You know, you're dropping those burns, you're throwing those wands over the edge. You're nearly there, and you're nearly about to drop that thing. So as I said, there could be some type of codependency that you're still holding on to, something that, you know, it could be an addiction also, but now you see things from a different point of view. To me, there's like an energy around you that's coming in with good news you know as i said 
you do see things from a different point of view now. This person could have a, sorry, air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't have to. This could be someone that's a logic thinker, someone that's sharp. Dragonflies have been coming out. So dragonflies could be significant. Um, this person is wanting to come in with something to say, um, start something new. And I feel like you're going to work on this with this person. Also with the Knight of Cups coming out, there's action being taken on starting a new beginning with this person. I feel like you are coming in as the empress. You could be a mother. You don't have to be. You could be a parent, uh, someone that's birthing a new idea and a new start with someone um, that, you know, could be younger, someone that is, I feel, attracted to you, someone that's wanting to give you back, you know, a cup of emotion. This is someone that could be a boss or a leader with the King of Swords coming out. Someone that's sharp, someone that's logical. Someone that, you know, doesn't show their emotions. Very masculine. Butterflies could be significant with this person. I feel like this person could have evolved also. This person could be um, mirroring you. This person could be a soulmate. So there's like a new beginning starting in your life. What's the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands for Pisces? You have the King of Wands. So this to me does not look like that other energy. You've got the lovers and the nine of swords. So there's someone in your energy. You've got the king of wands coming out. This is someone different. This could be someone that comes in and out. This is someone that's very attracted to you. Someone that is a soulmate in your life. Is supposed to come here for a reason cannot sleep over the situation <clears throat> this person has a lot of sexual energy for you so someone that's very you know this could have been something very physical um before this is someone that is stable in their own world um someone that's making a living yeah, but this person i feel wants to come in handsomely there is some action being taken here Pyramids could be significant, or Egypt, Gemini. This is someone that's a bit stern, a bit stubborn. Um, someone that does not like to show their emotions. Someone that's very, I feel, sexual. But this person is, I feel, lost. They do want to come towards you, but you now everybody has free will, but they are making action to move towards you while you're moving on. What's the Seven of Swords? So you have the High Priestess, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. You're going to make a judgment call when this person comes in. With the Seven of Swords coming out, this person may come in with something manipulative. I feel like you're not going to start some type of new beginning. With the High Priestess coming out, intuitively you know something's going on. With the Page of Pentacles, this person's coming in. They may be coming in with a gift, something little. They could be a younger energy. They could have Earth in their chart. They may want to come in and help with something. But I feel like with the Page of Swords coming out in reverse, it's like, you know, the Page of Swords is someone learning and this is like someone's not learning. So you don't want to learn. <coughs> you don't want to learn the lesson again. And I feel like you could ghost this person. You could leave this situation. You could take all your words and logic. You could block. There's like this blocking energy but you're going to make some type of judgment call. I feel like you've rose to the call. You see that cup in front of you now, Pisces. 
you know, and you're standing up for what you believe in, what you want, you know, and you're moving forward. Yeah, you could make this person walk away. You could be focusing on yourself because you know that focusing on yourself is going to lead to your success. But there's a change. Um, you will be seeing messages from people. There is two energies around you that are thinking about you, wanting to move forwards towards you. One of them could be in your energy already. Because to me, it looks like it's in current energy. Energy, Sorry, Pisces. What is the Six of Cups for Pisces? You've got the Magician, Virgo energy. The Hierophant in reverse. And the Two of Wands. <clears throat> So there is a soulmate, someone that's coming in, someone that wants to give you something. This person could have Virgo in their chart. They could want to um, manipulate the situation with the magician coming out. Someone that's wanting to, I feel, take control. I feel like they're also going to come in and leave you at a crossroads. With the Hierophant coming out, Taurus energy. This person is moving forwards towards you. They're looking at the memories, but I feel like it's like very sexual energy something that's like not a higher commitment this person is wanting um it's more like you in bed kind of thing that's what i feel i don't feel like it's like this person is not learning the lessons at the moment i feel like they are going through learning those lessons i feel like you've completed things uh, you could have children with this person with the empress coming out um you don't have to but i feel like there's some type of new beginning that you're starting that's leading to success what is the two of swords and i don't think it's with this person because this person to me looks like someone that's coming in trying to manipulate the situation again coming in with sexual energy what's the two of swords You've got the Two of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. And the Wheel. So what I feel is what you don't see is that there is a connection coming in that you're working, you're going to work together on with somebody. Three could be significant. Um, I feel like there is a completion of a cycle in your energy. I feel like you're holding back from that past and you're moving towards something new. Um, but what you don't see coming is this energy will move forwards towards you and they will send you a message and you will have to make that decision whether you want this person in your life or not. But to me, I feel like there could be people in your energy or coming in very shortly that is new energy and something new and change and different, you know, something different. <clears throat> okay. Change. You know, you're getting ready to move. You're getting ready to leave, leave this energy. It, have, it may have taken you a few months. It could have taken you up to six months to get ready to move from this energy. But everything is getting packed up on that car and it's, you know, it's nearly all there. It's nearly all ready. Okay, let's do a fortune telling card now. I'm getting confused on what cards I want to do next. One card for Pisces. Five, change. Forget pride and write a forgiving letter to the one who has done you ill. And we'll grab out a music message for you. Happy Easter, everybody.
thinking about Jesus, the divine, you know, it is Easter time, the history of the story and what the story means. And even though you may not be Christian or Catholic or whatever that believes in, you know, Jesus and stuff, the story and, you know, what it means is, you know, what what he does and being grateful and celebrating Easter, you know, I feel it really helps understand the weekend too and understand how you feel in life and take in the information that, you know, you want to take in uh, with this holiday that's happening this weekend. I also feel that with Christmas. Um, People didn't believe Jesus, <clears throat> but he had faith, and then there was some people that had faith in him also, so, you know, it sort of is like a thing of, like, keep going also, like a message of keep going, keep doing you. There may be some people in life that um, may not agree with what you do or, you know, don't support you in what you do but you just keep moving forwards because you know divine and the angels are uh, do have have do have your back do protect you and you know you need to live in your life and live your life okay music message we got one missing Todd Terry remix, Everything But The Girl. Okay, interesting. And we will grab out this Water Blessings card for you. So it is of frangipanis. Frangipanis could be significant. Pink ones. I was talking about pink frangipanis yesterday, so that's very interesting. Welcome, strength. May you find in opening all resistance to love vanishes and therefore comes to you. May you find in opening all resistance to love vanishes and therefore comes to you. So opening up, welcoming, opening strength, Leo energy, having the strength to release control, um, go with that flow of life because there is something that is coming towards you. And 8 plus 2 is 10. So it's like completion, a completion of a cycle in your life, Pisces. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. Happy Easter. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. Also, today is the last day to get that 11% off my personal readings on my website. So if you would like 11% off my personal readings, check out the link in the description below. Also write in the code word birthday. And yes, you will get that 11% off and that ha that ends tonight at midnight Australia time. Well, Queensland Australia time. <laughs> but I love you guys. Happy Easter. Um, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.